Well, it's about 9.30, Monday. We were going to go for a spin this morning at low tide. Well, the tide's not low for about an hour and a half for now. But it's been steady raining brick bats like a gully washer. But it stopped right now. But the radar shows more coming. So we decided to hold off. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but in that vacant lot, they're building another new house. And I have never seen one quite like that. I mean, that's all steel frames, not wood like most houses. As far as I know, that's the only house on the street that's ever been steel framed up. It looks like they're building a Holiday Inn or something. I'll give you some better pictures later. But that's unbelievable. But it's a rain delay. But we're going to go honeydewing now. The leader wants to go somewhere. We put her car in the shop. <coughs> Dropped it off yesterday. Put some inspection and get her brakes checked. And something she's got to go. She's going to New York Thursday for five or six days. I'll be batching. My Excalibur ought to be back today or tomorrow. I sent it in, uh, when did I send it in? Friday, I think. Last Friday for a new coil. I had an 8 inch coil on. I'm putting a 10 inch on. I probably told you that already. But it should be back. They got it Friday. They had it ready Wednesday. They shipped it Wednesday. But that's that new store in Al Aluma Bank, Pennsylvania. Oh, now the rain has started again. I might back my truck out and pull it in the garage real fast. I'll get back to you. It's Tuesday. It's just stopped, rain. <laughs> just stopped raining again. We had a gully washer all night. And we got a little break in the action right now. Mumbles man, he wants to go. Put our raincoats on. I don't know if we're going to go or not. We're, we're contemplating. I got a bunch of knives to pick up. I don't know. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. That lasted about 10 minutes. It's raining, raining again now. Not raining hard, but raining. Well, it looks like today is going to be a nice day. I'm on my way to pick up a bunch of pocket knives. Then I got to go pick up some butcher knives at Kroger store. Then I got to pick up a house knife or house knives and a pocket knife. I'm not sure, but we'll take a look in a little while. Well, I tell you, the knife end of this deal is working out better than I expected today. I just picked up the last two knives from a lady in a neighborhood not far from where I live. And right now, I just got out of the post office. Right there in that box is my Excalibur. It returned from the repair shop with a brand new coil on it. I haven't opened it up, of course. I'll be home in a minute. But now I get a telephone call from a guy who says, Listen, I need to get my knife sharpened. I'm only uh, about five or ten minutes from where you live. I said, Well, I'm not home, but I can meet you someplace. And he said, I'm on my way to Kroger. <laughs> it's going to be a knife day. Knife Zilla, maybe. Stand by. Well, there's the first set of knives we got. We got some Henkels and a Shun. Shun. The second stop, this is a repeat customer. This is the guy that installs all the uh, duct work. We've done a bunch of pocket knives. We've done this one and this one for him before. This one, we've done that one for him before too. These three right here are new. This is a really nice pocket knife here. It says it's 
to my grandfather, love, so on, so forth, so forth, 2012. And then, this is a butcher guy I was telling you about. I've done his knife, I've done this knife a couple times. He's a butcher for Kroger. And he's got a brand new one. Dalstrom Shogun Series. Mm -hmm. Nice looking knife though. Fancy handle on it. Scales, I should say. And I don't know if we did these yet or not. Santu uh, Gaffalons, I mean. This is a brand new guy. I just met him this morning. And this is a brand new lady. I just met her this morning. She's got two uh, ankles and her husband's bench made 580, I think it is. 585. I don't remember. But one of those. 580 or 585. Okay, I got to go to work. Oh, I got my ex cow in too. I showed you, but I haven't got it out of the box yet. Well, it's uh, 5.30. Still raining. They got certain areas of Virginia Beach that flooded. And rain tomorrow. The market may get rained out. I don't know. It's a rain or shine market, but if it's raining too heavy, I may not be there. Just dropped off all the knives, except for one lot. I could take them back tomorrow. Okay, I'll get back to you. See what my munchkins in here are doing. I gotta pick some figs. Two figs yesterday. I gotta go get some more of them now. You want a figs? You like figs? No, I don't like figs, he said. Oh. We got a new doggy door. We had an electronic doggy door. With magnets, I mean, with uh, buttons on the neck, and would unlock when they walked up to it. Now we got one that's got magnets on both sides. And Jack, he's okay with it, but my Indian over there, she's never been out of yet. It's been in for three days. She's scared to death of it. She gets scared anyway. Okay. Come on, Indians! Figs in the rain. Uh oh, somebody's been eating that pig. Some varmint. With wings. Mmm. That one is. They get so much rain, the damn rain busts them open. Jack, he eats them and they fall on the ground. They're probably not good for him, but. He thinks there's something to eat. Big old jack. That one ain't quite right. Jack, what are you doing out here? I'm getting your feet wet. You know you hate to get your feet wet. Man, he's funny about that. He hates to get his feet wet. I've never seen anything like it. He likes to go in the water, like it, you know, on the beach swimming. But if it's raining outside, buddy, he don't like that too much. Mmm, look at that one. That's a big fat fig right there. Most of them are smaller, like this size. Mmm. I might need a bigger bowl. I get back to you. You've seen enough figs. Wednesday, about nine. It's been raining all night again. It's still raining right now, but not very heavy. But it's expected a couple more by downpours. You probably can't even see it hitting the water here. The guys are working on that. Holiday Inn over there. 
trash can day. Got to get the trash cans in. I'll uh, get back to you. I'm getting ready to load my truck up for the market. If we have a market. We'll see how it goes. Well, we're set up. We're in the rain mode, but we're set up. First customer I get's got three pair of scissors and two knives, and right behind him it's two knives and a who do that. You forgot? But <laughs> on a whim, I left my big scissor sharpener home, and for the first time, I'm going to use my new scissor sharpener. It's a yeah. Harbor Freight with a variable speed motor added to it, and of course the wolf clamp was already there. All I had to do was put a bracket on it right there, and I'm in good shape. Variable speed. I guess I got to turn it on down here to make it work. See that? creeps along like that. I put new bearings in the bearings right there and I had it in the shop. So it wouldn't make so much noise. This thing's noisy with the motor on it that comes with it. But this is a modified one, you see. It's got a Penn State uh, lathe motor on it. Well, I got to get to work. Sharpen some scissors. I'll get back to you. Scissor day. I guess that's what it's going to be. Well, we got a little paper cutter. We're getting some everything under the sun today. Got a saboteur here. A old one. Two cut coats. Bird's beak and a little para. It's been busy for a rainy sort of afternoon. It hadn't materialized yet. What are you doing hiding down here? Yeah. How are you doing today? Good, good. Why are you staying away from us anyway? I should be selling coffee today, I think. Chicken ladies are rolling. They're taking a break, it looks like. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Your birthday today? Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Doggy lady. Vegetables. Vegetables are wide open as usual. My next life I'm gonna sell vegetables. Cat team. Cats left behind. That's a good thing. Some cheese. Popcorn. The bodacious bread. The wine guy. Now this is a cool food truck right here. This is Kali Cantina. Ladies, a lady owns them, got a partner in it. She owns a Kali Cantina, a place called a Starving Artist. That's where I'm going to eat at tonight. Kali Cantina tacos. Looks like a Woody. Got a surfboard on the top for a sun visor. Hey, what are you girls doing in here? Yeah. I'm going to sell joy sickles. Wait, you stay over there, I'll stay over there. She does more business than anybody here. And she goes someplace every day. She set up someplace every day. Seafood. The delivery guy. I don't know who this is. It's a new one. Gotta go around the front and see what this is. Some kind of sauce it looks like. Cowboy style. Oh, that's Sydney. I know who that is now. I ain't seen him in a long time. Sydney Mears, a famous chef from the area. I ain't seen him since 1989. That's the end of it. I don't know if I filmed this yet or not, but I think I did. Maybe I didn't. I can't remember. I'm so busy.
more scissors. I had a gang of scissors today. Good gracious. Forty-five minutes to go. Place is still hopping. And no rain. But it's coming, they claim. Well, the rain showed up. Not heavy. But it's rain. <laughs> 